गाइस वेलकम बैक टू कनाडा एंड बियॉन्ड दिस इज उस्मान एंड दिस इज जी हैन टुडे वी केम अप टू यू विद अनदर ग्रेट वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी विद कैनेडियन आर्मी एंड कैनेडियन नेवी वी गन सी अलॉट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज दे डू डेली हियर um in st john new brunswick they have huge setup where they do the training um they go through like a uh, different sort of grades and all of that so we are going to be showing you each and everything are you excited about it i am excited and i want to shout out to prude inc this video and this whole event is being sponsored by them and uh, we will talk more about prude in one of the next videos when we will have interview with this organization but the bottom line prude is a non-profit organization that really helps a lot the community in St. John they have specific programs for newcomers specific program for age groups for women empowerment but yeah this whole event was set up by them and thank you so much for doing that prude thank you so much prude for um arranging all this and we are going to be having a lot of fun canadian army and navy zindabad <laughs> which mean long live canadian army and canadian navy and as well as canadian air force as well so we have 24 of these naval reserve divisions across the country in every province um our mandate like i said is training so we uh we make sure people are prepared to go into the fleet um cooks uh human resources financial uh services um supply technicians or material management technicians now my job's naval combat information operator so when i go to sea i work on the ship's uh, sensors and um my office coordinates all the activity we do so if there's a search and rescue that needs to happen if there's a boarding or a suspect vessel that needs to be looked at that's all coordinated through my department you'll see different ranks on people's shoulders that just represents their level of experience and where they are within the organization. So uh uh Tom Watts, the commanding officer, is ranks commander. I'm petty officer first class, so I fall into the non-commissioned role. Got sailor first class and sailor third class here. So um one of the great things we get to do is as people train and advance their career, we get to promote them. So we have one that needs to be uh, adjusted right now. So this is uh this is a big part of somebody's career a promotion for them and this is the way we do it Victor 28 718638 sailor third class years promoted to sailor second class go ahead yeah the commanding officer is you get the uh the uh, honor to do this and then uh, sub lieutenant Como on uh, sailor steers left is Myself, here at Brunsker, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with reserve or rank force or the Canadian Armed Forces, but with the uh, regular force, you usually see uh, you know larger units uh, like we have up in Gagetown, we have down in Halifax, Edmonton, Calgary, even uh, like Greenwood. Some of these bases are really kind of out of the reach, except for you know our Navy ones, are kind of out of reach of the uh, public, you know. they're not really involved as much in the community and that's where we really focus on the reserve units such as us you know we're right downtown we're right you know in the heart of the uh, community so we kind of look at as a as a sorry as us as an ambassador to you know, the community and you know trying to strive and you know show ourselves and help out wherever we can uh we do community outreach we do recruiting drives Uh, we've been lucky enough to, you know, even be involved with the uh, Memorial Cup here lately. So we are very glad that you guys are here, and uh, you guys can, you know, see what we do and hopefully enjoy it. So uh, again, excited to be, excited for you guys to be here, and I uh, hope you enjoy yourself. So thank you. Um, there'll be lots of opportunity for you to get your hands on things. So I really encourage you to, if if you want to, and if you don't, that's fine too. If there's anything you don't want to participate in. please don't feel obligated to. While you go through, we'll have uh, subject matter experts at each of the stations. 
please feel free to ask lots of questions. These are the pros, they know this job inside out, so try to stump them with questions. Um, I'll appreciate seeing that. Listen to the instructions they give you. They'll probably demonstrate things first and then give you a chance to do it too. The crew are actually taking us on a boat ride around St. John Harbor. This is gonna be so, so fun. I cannot wait. Let's go. Little note to keep in mind, the ramp here is very steep. Uh, just uh, use the handrails, bind your foot in, and all should go well. Okay. All right, let's go. So where I'm from, I used to live on an island and we obviously have a lighthouse right. and from my house, like the light will hit every minute right. and I thought that, okay, every lighthouse would, you know, make a turn every minute, but here it's different no. and I'm like, okay. Summer seconds, Yeah. Uh, it just depends on the rotation, well, most lighthouses in the beginning days uh -huh. were uh, rotational yeah. with gears, uh, even before that, a lighthouse was manned typically by a family, oh, husband, yeah. wife and their children and they ran on oil and then each lighthouse had somebody man the light for a period of 12 hours or eight hours whatever their ship was and how it worked was uh, so it was a flame and a canister would come down over the flame just okay. to just to hide the flame not to dampen it yeah but somebody would manually be inside pulling this rope oh to lift God. the canister yeah. and to lower it to lift and they would have would to count the, exact, the seconds. Yeah. Oh. frequency radio system it's called a QRT with this radio we usually push out around 400 watts of power straight to our antenna that you would saw out there that radio we can use it to talk to anywhere in the world earlier today I was talking to someone in Alberta but I've hit places as far as New Zealand with that radio pretty complicated to get set up it was a lot of boring talk I can go into it and I'm not going to I don't want to bore you guys today this one down here is a very high frequency radio system. It's called the RV in a box. Its main purpose is to rebroadcast signals, but we can also use it to transmit signals. So as the officer there was saying, we actually have another truck set up on the other side of the harbor. So you guys are all gonna be able to talk to them today. Who wants to go first? I wanna go first. All right. Go this is zero, hi one. 
Hello, lover. <laughs> I am not used to nice. <laughs> Are you having fun talking to us? What? Yes, over. <laughs> <laughs> One versus zero. Please go ahead and subscribe our YouTube channel called To Canada and Beyond. Over and out. <laughs> One, this is zero. Do you acknowledge my last over? One, Roger, over. Called <laughs> <laughs> well, the base camp connect. This is basically you can connect every radio in the sun to this, and they'll all talk to each other. So I could connect this radio to this radio. I could connect these phones to that, and I could talk to everything through this. Well, I can also set it up so using my cell phone personal cell phone I can call into that okay. and then I can talk on these radios from my cell phone. Don't shoot Omar, okay? And then if you, with your left hand, mm -hmm. you can grab this here. Okay. And, okay. Okay. So, actually, the bolt catch is engaged. <laughs> so now if you pull back on that, there's tension on it. So pull it all the way to the back and then just let it go forward. That's so it? that's how you would put oh. a round into the okay. chamber. And, so guys, we are heading to a station called Damage Control. I wonder what's going to happen. What type of damage are we going to control today? Okay, so this is uh, Petty Officer Second House Daryl Ritzy. Daryl's a marine technician, specifically uh, Hall tech, but the trades have changed a little bit. So part of the area of expertise for marine technicians is damage control. So um, when we're at sea, things can happen on a ship and we don't have the ability to call in emergency services like you might at your house or something like that. So we have to take care of everything on our own. That includes if the ship's flooding or if there's fires, uh, broken pipes that are leaking. We have to deal with all that ourselves. So over here, at this position, this here is an example of what's called a square shoring. The purpose of a square shore is to apply pressure to a door or a bulkhead that, uh, let's say, is flooded out on the other side. For example, use a little bit of imagination, let's say this plane right here is a door and I'm actually standing in a flooded compartment. What's saving everybody is this apparatus right here, just made out of wooden wedges. Simplest tools known to man. I don't know what that says about me.
What <laughs> merit to that? What makes this mess special out of the three is that this is the only mess that you have to earn your way into, versus the master seaman and below, which mm -hmm. you you join the forces and you're you're part of that mess, or the wardroom. If you join as an officer, then you're always part of that mess. To get to here, you have to go through the master seaman and below, get promoted up to a certain state, and then you earn your way in here. What's up guys? We have the best, best day ever. We great. have met the greatest people ever. I never thought that people who works in the army or who works in the naval are cool, are funny, are nice to be around. It was the best day and we loved it and I really hope you guys did. So in the army, usually there is a gap between the armed forces and the civilians. But today I can see, I can literally see the bridge between the armed forces and the civilians in Canada. It was just amazing. The people were nice, funny, um, exciting. Um, we had so many activities. It was very nice. Thank you so much Canadian armed forces. Thank you so much Prude for arranging this. Um, Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. It is very important that you guys subscribe it. If you like uh, this video, please go ahead and like on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. See you in the next video.